know you are now better. Um, I joined Motez in 1991 when I was just 16. And I can remember the year before I joined uh, when I was 15, my aunt Nancy Burkhart was in the group. And I can remember going to the concerts and thinking, oh my gosh, that's what I want to do so bad. Um, one of my favorite uh, songs was What for Americans. But then once I joined the group and learned it, it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> Church, but really I played the violin, and when I auditioned, I had such a puny voice that the audition committee was kind of like, I don't know if I would let her in or not, but thankfully they did. And Dave saw something in me that even I didn't see myself, and he gave me a solo my first year. And uh, I was very nervous, but still I did it, and luckily, I guess Dave liked it because he's given me plenty of solos since then. Um, I also went on to college, and I was a vocal music performance major. So I have that under my belt, and I have them him to thank for it. Um, more of my family is now in the group. My uncle Joe Burkhart is in it, and also my mother, Susie Barto. But I do consider all of the Motet my family. Uh, one of my most recent best memories, I love to hear responses from audiences when we go to and perform. And last year we sang at a church, and in between when we were switching to set up for a pop concert, I happened to go back into the sanctuary. And there was a little old lady, she was one of the last people to leave the sanctuary. She was, had her walker, and she was walking, and she stopped me. And she said, honey, I'm about 80 years old, and I know I'm going to die soon. And I've always wondered what heaven was like, and I just found out tonight. So that's just amazing. Um, Dave, I just want to thank you again for everything you've done for me, and everyone who looked at for being there for me. I have been through a lot of trials, but now everything is great. And in October, I'm expecting a baby. So I hope Dave sticks around long enough because I want her to be a motet also. <laughs> <laughs> About a year after I got into the group, uh, there's a gentleman that joined. And me being a teenager, he's a little bit older than me. And I thought, who is this crazy guy? And uh, remember the song called Who Body from the 80s? He liked to do that during practices, and this is kind of annoying. But the more I learned about it, the more I got to like him, and now he's one of my close friends. So I'm here to introduce him and his friends. Um, his name is Stu, and he thinks this song really is called Only Stu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 